I want to show you a couple ways to tackle this problem. So what I do is just set it up in an income statement, contribution margin income statement format. And I know that it tells me my sales are 820,000, so I'm just going to fill in what I do know. And then it says my variable costs are 55% of my sales. So I'll put that over there. And then it tells me my income from operations are 260,000. All right, they want my contribution margin ratio. And I know that my contribution margin ratio is calculated to be contribution margin divided by sales. Well, I don't know my contribution margin yet, but I do know my sales. So I can figure that out by knowing that if variable costs are 55% of sales, then all I have to do is say 55% and of means to multiply of sales. So I can do that and that's my variable cost. I know that contribution margin, we know the formula for contribution margin is sales minus variable costs. So here I can just say sales minus variable costs. And then, and then let me try that again. I don't know what my fixed costs are, but I know that my contribution margin minus my fixed costs give me my income from operations. So the difference in these two numbers must be my fixed costs. So 369 minus 109 gets me the income from operations. So from there I can easily figure out my contribution margin ratio by using this formula. And so I would say that my contribution margin is 369,000. Divided by sales, which is 820,000, and I get a ratio of 45 or 45%. But there's a faster way to do it, so let me show you the other way. We know that in a vertical analysis, everything is as a percent of sales, so sales must be 100%. So if I want my contribution margin ratio, I know that sales minus variable costs gives me contribution margin ratio. So all I have to do is 100 minus 55%, and I could have gotten to the same 45%. So either one of those ways will work. You will need to know both ways because you may be given different amounts of information to solve with.